Hello everyone and welcome to my online lesson on multiplying and dividing standard form. Now there's two topics you really need to know before you attempt this one. The first one is the laws of indices. So what happens when I have 2 to the power of 4 times by 2 to the power of 7 for example? Well that's 2 to the power of 11 because we add the indices. So knowing your laws of indices would be very helpful and it's also essential if you want to get full marks on these questions that you understand how to convert into and out of standard form or how standard form should be written correctly. Um, so let's look at this question to begin with. This is a multiplying question. It says work out what 2.1 times 10 to the power of 8 times 6 times 10 to the power of minus 5 is and it says write your answer in standard form. Now I could at this point convert these into ordinary numbers do the calculation, then convert back into standard form. But if we look, this question is only a two-mark question, and that would take me quite a while, and I'm likely to make a mistake. So there is a way of doing this, of leaving it in standard form the whole way through. The first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to look at the numbers that I've been given. I've got a 2.1 and a 6. I'm going to rewrite these out, but I'm going to write them next to each other with my multiply in the middle. Okay, now standard form always has a times 10 to some power and my power here, because I'm multiplying my two numbers together, I add my indices. So it's just like our laws of indices, I'm going to add these together. So my power is going to be whatever 8 add minus 5 is. So I've just got to work this out now. So 2.1 times 6 well, that's 12.6 times 10 to the power of an 8 add minus 5 is the same as 8 minus 5, so that's 3. I'm not quite finished here because this isn't in correct standard form yet. We know that standard form, this first number, has to be between 1 and 10, and it's not quite yet. So if I divide this number by 10, I get 1.26. That gives me a number between 1 and 10. I will have to multiply my power by 10, which means raising my indices by 1. So that is my final answer. I get 1.26 times 10 to the power of 4. This next question is a divide question. It's asking me to work out the value of 2.3 times 10 to the power of 12 divided by 4.6 times 10 to the power of 3. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before. I'm going to just look at my numbers to begin with and write them next to each other. So I'm doing 2.3 and this time I'm dividing that by 4.6. And I've always got times 10 to the power of, and because this is a divide question, I'm going to subtract my powers. Again, very similar to your laws of indices. So 2.3 divided by 4.6, well because 4.6 is double of 2.3, I know this is equivalent to a half, so it's 0 0.5. Times 10 to the power of 12 take away 3 is just 9. And just like that time, I'm not quite finished yet, because this number at the front here is not yet between 1 and 10. So I need to make it between 1 and 10. So I'm going to times it by 10. That'll give me 5, which means I need to divide my power by 10, which means reducing my power by 1. So my answer is 5 times 10 to the power of 8. Here are two questions for you to try. Give them a go, pause the video, and then the full solutions are on the next page. So here's the full work solution. So the first question, you should have ended up with 3 times 10 to the power of 14. The second question was slightly trickier. You have to understand that this fraction here means divide. So I rewrote it out first with my dividing. And then this bit here, just be careful, we are subtracting the powers. So we need to do 3 take away minus 5. So I've got an 8 there. Then I've got my final answer of 5 times 10 to the power of 7. Thank you for tuning in.